Hi everyone, this is Dr. Vic with a little video to show you how to do Excel uh, to create pivot tables and finish your Lab 2 assignment. So let's get to it. I'm on the lab, Labor website. Let's go down to Lab 2 here. Click on that. Um, we're going to go. This is some, some information. This is where the video will be. But over here is what you're doing. Now, you have three parts to this. I'll let you do part one and two. It's self-explanatory. Take it slow. Read it carefully. What we're doing in part three, though, is we're this is the Excel piece. We're going to create a pivot table in Excel, and we're going to look at hourly wage outcomes between different groups. We're going to look at male versus female workers, their hourly wage, see how, how it's different, over versus under 30 workers, and then non-graduate versus college graduate workers. Okay, that's the assignment. So let's get to it. We got this Excel file. You want to save it to somewhere safe that you can get to it later. Um, this Excel file has a thousand fully employed workers. So it's not, there's no unemployed or those out of the labor force. These are all currently employed. And we're just looking at ages 25 to 40. So let's get to it. Here's the data. Column A has all their hourly wages. B through J have various dummy variable characteristics, yes or no characteristics, which I explained last time. So go back to the lab one if you if you need a, a refresher on that. We're creating pivot tables, so you don't have to highlight anything. Just go to oh, insert. You want to go to insert, and right under insert is pivot table. Pivot tables, they want to collect all the data, okay, we want to put a table of all the data on this spreadsheet along with the headers here. We want to know the names, the, the names of each column, the name of what data we're talking about. <clears throat> so it's selected that all of that automatically for us, so we don't have to deal with that. Let's put this in just a new worksheet. It'll add it to for us, and we hit OK. Okay, this brings us kind of a generic pivot table. And the way this thing works is pivot tables allow you to compare values, okay? Here, for our value, we're talking about our outcome. And of all these, the outcome we're interested in is hourly wage, okay? That's the value we're going to be looking at, okay? Um, before we go on, we have a 1,000 people, and we put in this hourly wage, and it came up, it's showing the sum of hourly wages, okay? This is the sum of hourly wages, 23,626. Is that meaningful information for us? Well, no. You don't want to add up other people, everybody's hourly wage. You probably want to know what they're making on average. Um, and that is indeed what I want to know. So you can click on this arrow and go to value field settings or just click on it here. We don't want the sum of people's hourly wage. We want the average. The average is going to give us something like 23.62. Okay, that sounds like a reasonable average hour, hourly wage for something. That's something you can relate to. That's data that makes sense. So that's what you want. Okay, the first, remember we're comparing for three different groups, the hour, average hourly wage, female versus male. Let's do that first. Oops. Okay, so now we're going to select on female versus male. And it's probably, let's see what it does. Okay, it put female versus male in values. And it said the sum of females is 457. Okay, that means that there's 457 females out of 1,000 in our sample. But that doesn't help us if we want to compare male versus female. I'd suggest that you bring, take female and put it over here in rows. And let's see what happens. Now we have something interesting. We have row labels, okay, row labels of female, zero and one. Okay, if you put your mouse over that, it says zero female, and when you put it over one, it says one female. Well, what's that saying? It, before we answer that, let's look at what's going on with the hourly wages. When female is equal to zero, the average hourly wage for that group is 25. When it, female is equal to 1, the average wage is 21. Hmm, that's interesting. 
what's going on here? When female equals zero, that means we're talking about males. And when female equals one, we're talking about female. So you can type that in right here. Now, this the these numbers, you know, what we're talking about hourly wages, so let's put this in a dollar sign. Okay, go to home dollar sign. Ah, now that makes kind of sense. What's going on here? The average male wage is twenty-five forty-nine. The average female wage is twenty-one forty-one. Okay? On average, males make about four bucks more than females. Now what I want you to do is I want you to present this as a pivot chart. So if all this looks nice, if you have male, female here, you have this in dollar, you go to analyze and you click on pivot chart. And there's different ways. You can do this in different ways. The kind, one I like is this one, but you don't have to do it that way. You do one that looks nice, but this one is pretty straightforward. Female is making about this, male is making up here. It shows the female, the raw wage gap. That's what we're looking at. If I were you, I'd just go ahead and delete these totals because they don't, you don't need them to explain what's going on. You can, let's, let's, uh, let's go ahead and see how we want to present this, okay? I'm going to right click and copy. We want to copy this, okay? And now let's go back here, and I have a, I created a template for you to use to paste this stuff into. Okay, this isn't your full template. I mean, this isn't the only thing you deliver for Lab 2. It's just a piece, just an, a, an example of how you can do this stuff. Okay, so what do I have here? I have, well, I have a page right here with a graph, figure 1, and this is from some work I did, that presents three figures all in one, okay? Three sub-figures, figure 1A, figure 1B, figure 1C, okay? You don't need to, you're not doing this, this is just an example, but what you're gonna do is delete that guy, and then I'm gonna right-click and paste what I just made, my pivot table that I just created. And that looks pretty good. There's our male-female comparison, okay? Let's delete the other two, and we'll come back and we'll get them in a second. Now, you're going to have to change all this text. This text is from my report, you know, that I did for something else. You're writing a new report comparing hourly wages. So, you're going to write a paragraph, you'll delete my text, you got the source from somewhere else, none of these titles make sense to what you're doing, so you want to change that, okay? But we got the first part in, male versus female. Let's go back and see what we need to do now. We need to do over versus under 30. Let's go back to our pivot chart, all right? You got this, this one's done, we don't need this anymore, all right? We're done with female, so we can uncheck female. What do we want, over versus under 30? Well, look at that, that is, uh, that's right there. Let's click on that. Again, they it sent it over to values, let's bring it to rows. This is when over 30 is equal to zero, okay? Are you over 30? Zero, no. That means you're under 30. Over 30 equals one. Are you over 30? Yes. I think it's under, yeah, I'll just do it like that. I can't remember which one. I think this was this is actually 30 and over. Just to be totally on the ball here, this is under 30, this is 30 and over. If you do under and over 30, you forget 30, but I, the way I did it was 30 and over, okay? What's going on here? All right, people under 30 are averaging $18. People over 30 are averaging 25, okay? Let's put that in our second pivot table. Analyze, pivot chart, again, Let's do it the same, whatever one you choose, go ahead and do it the same way. Let's get rid of these totals. We don't need them again. 30 and over makes more than under 30. That makes sense to me. Go over here. You're putting it in part B. Boom, right there. Looks pretty easy. Um, let's do, I'll let you do the last one. Okay, the, the last one, remember, is you have to do uh, non-graduate versus college graduate and that'll go in part C here 
So that's how you do it. Um, this is the template. Again, re redo the text, describe you know, who's making more on average, males or females. It's older, uh, older workers. And then the other one is graduate. You know, the source we got here is I give right here. Okay, the American Community Survey 2012, 1,000 random. I can copy this and you can just put that into your source. Paste as text. Source, American Community Survey. You don't need it sourced twice. American Community Survey, sample of 1,000 people nationwide. That all looks good. That's what you want to do, okay? Uh, that's it for today. Let me know if you have any questions. Good luck.